Okay, no, no, yeah. I, I, let me preface this and then you say what you thought of what happened today. Sure. But uh, this is the first year I've had a chance to work with you all yeah. year and with the same team, which is an incredible help. When you have all the same guys every time. We started out, we thought we had a car that was going to be have some reserve in the box. We found out that we were way behind the curve. That was the first one out, St. Petersburg. Second race you nailed it, got to Long Beach. Wow, put it out of the park. We struggled from there until here. And uh, tell us about today. Today was just, just absolutely fantastic. I mean, it was just, I, I can't even describe it yet. I, if you guys would interview tomorrow morning, I'd have a better answer. I mean, I'm just so, still so overwhelmed. Um, we started on second place, started second place, and on the start, I mean, I had, a, I had the whole launch control set up because they're standing starts, and for some reason the uh, the RPMs dropped about a thousand RPM, and that really just bogged me a little bit. And the three guys went ahead, but they kept the inside. And if you look ahead, I was still in second place, and uh, I had an open track ahead of me. So I, I've driven here a lot of times, and I know that you could go side by side in corner one, and that's what I did exactly. I went, uh, I, I broke, I was actually fourth, and I broke deeper than all of them while they were still bottlenecking on the inside. Went around all of them. And uh, got back my second place. So that was that was pretty cool. That was it was gutsy, but I'm like, hey, we're here to win. We're not here to finish second. So I almost lost my heart on that one because uh, you're going in there. You're on the outside. The three on the inside. It's really out there in the distance. I can barely <laughs> see it. And here's a guy behind me, Pat. He says, Oh, Kuno was off. Kuno was off. Oh, I go, no. You're kidding me. You're... <laughs> <laughs> so you come out in second place. I'm going. No, no we, we really just, it, it was it was actually very clean because you're racing against really good drivers as well. So amongst each other, we have a really good understanding where we keep our room. We don't hit each other. We keep a very, very good limit between us. Um, it's fast. It's hard limit, but we're clean. From there on, I was just putting pressure on Randy, just keeping him ahead of me, just at bay. Three seconds, two seconds, four seconds, three seconds. I had him. I, I had him just a look. If I wanted to get him in the beginning, I could have. But I didn't want to wear the car down too quickly, so I waited till about halfway through the race, and he did one mistake, just one little mistake, which I was waiting for, and then I got him. I didn't, have, didn't, have, I couldn't even wait one more lap. It was that time to do it right there, and we passed him. We passed him good. Was that at the end of the straight? It was going into corner five into the hairpin. Oh, okay. Yeah, he never really saw me coming because I never, I never showed him any intentions on passing. I just kept my nose behind him. I was kind of being a sleeper behind him, and then all of a sudden, when he did a little mistake, he didn't really anticipate it. And I was just being super aggressive right away. And then I just dove him on the inside, got it, said goodbye to him. <laughs> and uh, Andy, at one point, they were battling out Andy and Randy in the two Volvos. And I guess Andy was a bit quicker, the guy who finished second today. And they let each other, they swapped positions so that Andy come chase me down. And he did just that. Andy was really, really quick. He, uh, he came up, he came up pretty quick and uh, he, uh, he tried a couple of things. He was putting a lot of pressure, he was showing his nose. He, uh, he was really just trying to make me do a mistake, and uh, that uh, he's, he's foxy. He's uh, he's got experience, and uh, he kept this 28-year-old uh, uh, young gun alive. He kept he kept me grounded, that's for sure. Well, he had, and he uh, I think has something to prove today. Where you know Randy, he's had, he has his championship already wild up. So his his uh, soul to be second wasn't as strong as, as uh, Andy's was. So yeah, we watched Andy just push the darling No, He's yeah. got the taillights right on his headlights all the time. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Okay, question. Uh, toward the end, when the pressure was coming on, how was the car feeling? Oh, the car was fantastic the whole race. I mean, it's just the true blood of that Viper. Just, you know, that Viper is just... It keeps going on and on and on. Just a great overall car. The only thing I could say is maybe the tires start to wear out quicker in the back. You have all that torque pushing to the back and all that torque, that 500 pounds of 550 pounds of torque going through the rear wheels. It's only normal that in 50 minutes the rear tires wear out. We're not running slick tires. We're running more of like a semi-slick tire. So it's only normal, and Kuno, but it's like that for wait everybody. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're such a punk. You ended up after the race win. You went just burned them to the ground. There were cords coming out of them. I'm not kidding about the punk part. But. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I enjoy I enjoy victories. When when I could win, I've, I've won a lot of races. I've won championships. When I win, I, I keep it real. I, I want to show everybody how passionate I am, and I I love winning. That's my passion. So why not do a, a burnout and three donuts at the same time down the whole straightaway? Let the rest of us share with you. <laughs> exactly. Thank you for sharing. That's Thank good. you. <laughs>